How oh, true? For fuck's sake. <laughs> how true is this statement? Women that get BBLs are insecure. <laughs> oh, Yo, wow. they not, they are ready. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, wait. <laughs> Look at this one. Big booty guy. <laughs> I'm just gonna make it clear. If anyone makes anything personal, I'm coming for you. Are you like oh. I find these guys fucking hilarious. I mean, some of you guys sitting here right now have hit me up for my doctor, but let me keep quiet. You know when you mention BBLs, you know everyone's gonna get so sensitive, especially the girls that have done it or are considering doing BBL. Everybody is triggered. Every every single girl there is triggered because they know that this the life depends on it. All the doctors are gonna probably get thrown into the room because of their bodge jobs. I would get a BBL because I'm insecure about my mum. For me personally, it's a fact that if you do result to get surgery for anything, that means you're insecure about whatever it is you're going to get surgery about in the first place. It stems from an insecurity. You can still love yourself, like regardless, and have insecurities. I love myself and I have insecurities. I'm going to fix that insecurity by getting something shifted, but you know. Shifted where? Where are you shifting to? I agree with you in the sense that if you have an insecurity about something, it doesn't necessarily make you an insecure person because everybody has insecurities. Yeah. However, what you just said about um, I'm going to deal with that insecurity, this is where I start to find a problem. I don't. Know I could I could deal with it by going to the gym. No, hey, one second, hey, one second, one second. Um, I know the problem is, is the word I'm looking for, for one thing of a better word, but the reason, the, I, I don't know what the word is, but the reason I have a, a slight issue with it is that I find, um, by like all the people I, like, I know who either consider having BBLs or who've got BBLs or whatever, I, I don't know if, I don't know if the conversation is honest enough to say that, that getting it has actually fixed or fully dealt with the insecurity. The reason I say this, obviously I, can, I can't speak for any of you who have BBLs or whatever, but I don't know, like, there's something, there's something uneasy about the conversation. Like, like, <laughs> What's uneasy about the conversation? I'm, I'm Why are you really? laughing? Look at this one's already too good. She's already started playing with her hands. Let me start playing. Let me start scratching her hands. I'm just asking. I think it's a difficult question because it's one of them conversations where you know people aren't going to be 100% honest or say what they really want to say about the topic. This is an honest question, yeah? And please, let's try and have an honest conversation about it because what she said is, you have insecurity about something, um, you address that insecurity. The question would then be, how much did it fix the insecurity? I'm sorry, how, yeah. how can I take you seriously when you got your whole batch there laughing? I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, what's funny? Because you might have funny. What, because there are people here that have got it done. I don't get no, it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. Honestly, yeah. how, how do you. The thing you know, that you. Gonna, the, I'll answer that. How can you answer a question that's not happening? <laughs> <laughs> how much did it fix the, the, the insecurity? No, no, what I was going to say more detail is the, 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 thing, the thing that made you well and go and, and get it, yeah. How much has the BBL done to address that particular issue? Say what, why it is yeah, you got it. it. That insecurity. Yeah, that say why it is you got it and what, okay. what you feel like it's done to, to Okay, so like, I, talking from experience who has had a BBL, yeah. I, I do believe that, I do find that statement to be true. Any girl that goes and does her BBL, it, it, there is a level of insecurity within yourself. Do you know what I mean? It might be your fat, it might be your too, you know, you, you've got a flat bum, you know, you're upside down, you know, the weight, your weight is here and your body. Do you know what I'm saying? Now, this one, this one's too tight. Really <laughs> yeah. ambitious. Okay, before, if any girl gonna get tired at this nigga, it don't even make sense getting that tight. This nigga is the nigga in the back of the barbershop that doesn't get a haircut. So if you gonna get tight, bro, it don't even make sense to get tight at this nigga. Look at this nigga, bro. Look at this nigga, bro. You can't get tight at this nigga, bro. Can I, from my personal experience... Nigga look like his name is Patrick. Hello. Whoa. From my personal experience, I got a... Can I change seats? <laughs> 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 what is going on? Like, I, don't, I don't get it because I feel like you guys are not taking it seriously. There are people here that have done it and we're trying to give you answers, but if you're just going to talk shit, then forget about it. You understand? Big man thing, yeah? I'm all for the BBO thing, bruv. Because there's girls out here with some dead bodies, bruv. <laughs> if you got a batty like a Chinese man, you got to get a BBL, bruv. Does anyone here look insecure to you guys? Yes. No. Yes. 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 I'm insecure. Yeah, man. I'm insecure. You know what never shows your head. I'm insecure. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. No. These niggas too strong and old for that. After like 23, you can't do certain shit, bro. No. These niggas mad strong. Now if they jump me, I'ma laugh before they jump me. You can't do that, bro. The man on his knees. The man on his knees gulping. Look at this guy. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. 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 Get out of here.
Get no. out of here. Get no, out of here, man. The man came out. The man came out. Don't have that, man. Wait, wait. That can't go on. That can't go on. Hey, yo. I'm making it very clear. It's not going in. come for me, I'm going to come for you. Don't you know. sit here and call me insecure. Okay, can you say that again? I want to take in what you said. I hope you're ready. I don't need to say it again. Take off your hat. Ladies, the Put the back on. Oh. <laughs> she thought he was okay, okay, okay. Oh, hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, blue tap. Play doh. Play doh. Blue tap. Suck on yourself. Is he dumb? Is he? Is he? Can you see that? Listen, I am the snap back queen. Go. I am the snap back queen. Nah, her neck is strong. Do you not? If we're gonna talk about BBL, you can fly away with that blood. Hey, Dumbo. This is a UK friendship. No, look, and why he enjoying it? He's smiling, he looking down, enjoying it. No, this is strong, brother. This is this is strong, brother. Away with that blood. Hey, dumb. Yo. Someone grab me a feather. Someone grab me a feather. Hey. Excess skin, girl. Under your armpits. Cool yourself, man. Don't fly away, you know, like Dumbo. Hey, yeah, idiot. Do your fucking crocodile foot. If I speak, I need you to speak. The girl is like Godzilla. Yeah, hey, idiot, man. <laughs> Look at the street <laughs> burning your mouth. It's like driving gold. Hold up, bum bum, you suck in your dirty, nasty dog. Let me walk over my 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 dog. Let me yeah, you got wolf, you got bacteria on your head, and your bum might look wrong. You got nappies on. You need to cut your toenails. Look at your teeth. Look at your teeth. Look at your teeth. Look at your teeth. Why are you making it personal? You got wolf in your head. Why are you making it personal? Your scalp's bleeding, man. My scalp is bleeding, but your bottom lip looks dry. Go get some Vaseline. Yes, it's true. Your bottom, your bottom lip's been on bare bum Bare bum Look at it. You see me? I'm an ugly man and I'm proud of it, you know. I blame my father. It's cool. But listen, this girl was ugly at birth. Yeah? <laughs> the girl grew up still being ugly. <laughs> then the girl gets surgery and she's still ugly. How that makes sense? <laughs> Is there a fucking put blue tuck in your damn body and you're fucking bam bam in your fucking foot? Put in your fucking face. Make the face make sense. And Sylvia, make it make sense. Make it make sense. Yasmin. I look fucking purple naturally. All the bacteria from the anal are on your lips. Why are you putting that? Why are you being nasty to her? Why are you being nasty to her? Why are you I'm doing introductions when I'm doing my thing, he's recording me. You understand? So I don't want your chatting shit. Clearly I'm not good enough. I'm recording because you look stupid. Clearly I'm not good enough to be on my school. Send me that, send me that. Shut up, man. You're part of gay. You're part of gay. You're part of gay. Put it back in your head. 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 The insecurities are coming out. Insecurities are coming out. Out. Shut Sit up, down. Like Make sure that bum on off don't explode you know that. Hella blue tacks are sticking her body now. Blue tack everywhere now. Play Shut though. Up. Shut up. I feel sorry for them kids, you know. They ain't gonna have to play with. You can call me ugly. You can say my lips are black. You can say my gums are black. You can call me hood. You can say that my gold tooth is cheap. You can say that my BBL was rubbish. You can say I'm a hoe. You can call me all the names under the bus, but insecure? <laughs> Never, in fact. <laughs> Boris Johnson? Yeah, that's what they're calling me? That's what they're calling me? Do I look insecure to you? No, it's enough, it's enough. It's enough, it's enough. let's get back to the question. Prick, ah. you're a prick. Look at me. Look at your mum. <laughs> Where is she? Not here. Oh, is your mum dead? Oh, sorry. I, oh. I said it's what? Do something! I said it! What? what? Do something! What did she say? What did Listen, say? I'm, I'm trust me, I'm not even gonna come up to you and do all that Naomi shit, you understand? Because I'm definitely about that life and I'll fuck you off set! Right, right, Talking shit! Uh-uh! Don't attack her! You were, everyone's saying stuff about BBO, we cannot, you understand? But you come in here attacking me personally, you don't yeah, fucking you know me! We yeah, don't, don't fucking do speak! Don't do that. What did I do? You're a You crossed the line! You crossed the line! You crossed the line! 
How's the weather today? Good weather outside? Yeah. Can everyone come down? The fuck? They could put all of that on the episode. She just I don't talk, give a she's fuck. talked on my hairline. My hairline's on vacation. What do you want me to do about it? I'm glad you know. <laughs> I'm glad you know. <laughs> my team gone. My dad's bald. What do you want me mom to cry? Master. Give me a headline, please. <laughs> Can we just take like 30 seconds? Yeah, let it marinate, yeah, yeah. bruv. Let it marinate. Let Everyone it just marinate. calm down. All I'm saying is you gotta remember, when a nigga roasts to this extent, he don't care. So him being wrong, like, you just gotta get to that this nigga in the right don't care. And that's Black it. exchange became reductive. He don't like, care. I'm trying to take away from the seriousness of, of what, what I was trying to get answered. Like. I think Young P is a fucking prick. I think he's a fucking insecure one. He's always going at women who are glamorous. He's got issues. And to be honest with you, I'm not going to waste my... Young P. Patrick. Breath too much on him. I'm going to perform an act, a voodoo act. I want to um, put a curse on him so that he has a life full of being a waste man, which is what he's doing <coughs> at the moment. <coughs> I want to wish you a life of being a waste man. Waste man. Waste man. This is my piss, by the way, guys. This is my piss. You dunk him in four times, that's just it. Young P, you're cursed. You're fucking cursed. I actually want to know if, <laughs> like I said before this all went off, I actually want to know um, how you feel about what it did to address. Yeah, or whatever you felt like the reason was to go and get it. Thank you. Sorry. Uh -huh. Guys, we don't condone violence at home. <laughs> 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 Let me show you my headpiece, you know. Magic. Oh gosh. Rasta, Rasta, my lions. Bon. Bon. I'm frozen. Oh my god, look at me. Look at me. That's how struck I am up till now. <laughs> bon, 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 bon. That's how struck I am up till now. I swear to God, that's how struck I am. Hold on, brother. The fuck. Alright, hold on. Let's hope the PC don't explode. Prayers, prayers, please, prayers, please. Um, prayers, please. Let's hope the PC don't explode. Yeah, niggas got motion. Liar. Oh, this is bent. This is mad bent. I don't find this funny though. Hey Yasmin, see the hair? Dr. Miami. Bless me. I feel like whenever a nigga use a wig when it comes to his jokes, it's bad, bro. Well, magic. Something you'll never have. A real hair. Keep wearing your horse. Personally, I never thought about BBL surgery up until I gave birth to life. When I brought my daughter upon this earth, my body changed completely in ways that I never thought my body could change. Do you know what I mean? I know women say your body will change, you know, you go through a process, but I actually did not believe, especially because I had her so young, it will change. Now, I would say, you know when they, they have a picture of a woman and she goes upside down, so her top half is a lot bigger than her bottom half. So I had a big belly, you know, I had um, even up, like up until when it was like two, three, I had, my breasts were quite big as well, especially for my size, I'm a petite girl, and I didn't have, my bum just went, it went flat, I didn't, it just, Dissolved like <laughs> like even so far, like, I thought maybe because I sat down too much, it went. Now after I gave birth, um, I did put on a lot of weight as well because I'll be honest, if you become lazy, you know, you have a baby, you lose yourself to a certain degree, and it's even harder to snatch back from that. Now before I decided to do BBL, a lot of people say, did you not go to the gym? I went to the gym. I lost a lot of weight, and I was still big in areas that you know, no matter what, no matter no matter how many times I went to the gym, it wouldn't change, and that's because my muscle wall had expanded, you know, I had built in fat underneath, There's a, it's a lot more technical than you think. So when I'd lost the weight and I still had a belly and, you know, things were still upside down, I decided to look into it. When I then looked into it, I did a lot of research, it wasn't something that I clicked to my mind and over eight months and the insecurity within myself was the fact that I couldn't wear dresses, I couldn't wear certain clothes and have a nice shape. I looked, I didn't look nice, you know, especially when you have a baby at 21, I'm still quite young, you know, I, I wasn't married because I did have a child out of wedlock, so it's, again, I'm still trying to attract the opposite sex. Do you know what I'm saying? I want someone to look at me and think, rah, like this girl looks good, even after a baby. I was very insecure with my body, do you get what I'm saying? And that was what made me look into it. Now, there on after, has it fixed the insecurities? After I had my body, even the doctor, he said that I was one of the happiest girls he's ever done surgery on. Because as soon as I looked down, and I, I woke up, even with anaesthetic, I was all high, I was like, yo, 
this is a beautiful like raw like I, I was I didn't even see it but from down I could look down and my belly was flat I would, that problem was gone and that, ins that insecurity I once had disappeared. Do you yeah, know what I'm saying? Cool. I started. You still feel like that now? Yeah, of course. Like, yeah, I, I love the way I look. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. I can admit, yeah, I had a beer belly. Like, my belly was like. <laughs> I, I think that's a fire response because she's admit she's admitting to it to an extent and it's still like it's opening my mind to see like it's just more than that and like even when she was just mentioning um what she mentioning she was mentioning what the fuck like the elasticity of her skin and everything like I can understand where she's coming from so I feel like her delivery is good and I don't feel like an argument can even come after she says something like this like I had four or five cans of beer a day on a regular basis. Even before I became a mother, I had a bit of a belly. Because obviously, like you said, you're a mum, innit? Mm -hmm. Like, if if your daughter came to you at 20, 21, 22, and um, wanted to go through the same procedure, and mm -hmm. it might not necessarily be for the same reasons that you did, um, would you be, would you encourage it? Now, this is where you might say I'm biased. I don't, uh, I don't believe that girls who haven't had children should have surgery, mm -hmm. especially if you plan on having children. Just because I have first-hand experience what the body will go through and the changes it goes through. So it's a waste of money. It's, you're putting yourself at risk for something that is just for vanity at, at here and now. But you're putting yourself at risk regardless. No, I don't, I don't no but she makes a strong point though, because your body does change, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, your so body does change. If, if there's ever a reason you could accommodate it. Your body still changes. No, but your body changes. You know, you know what I'm saying with it though? If, if there's ever a time, like, you know I'm not pro-surgery, mm -hmm. but if there's ever a time you could accommodate it and understand it, I insecurity. Think, I think that's not for us to say though. No, it's I'm dangerous. saying in, in no, terms of in terms of my acceptance of how I view it. Do you know what I'm saying? If there was ever a way where I could be like, you know what? I understand that point. It's cool, you've had your children, you know, your body, like she said, there's parts where you can't gym it back into place. Like you can, you can. And this is this is my step on it. This is no, my take certain things like, for example, if, you, if, you, if, if your tits sag, yeah, yeah, there's nothing you can do about that. Of course there is things you can do. You can't. You can't. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. We can agree to disagree. Hold on, Gogo. We can agree to disagree. You can't agree to disagree because there's a science behind it. What's the breast exercise? Can you tell us? What exercise is going to lift your breast? Hold on, I want to hear what you're saying. Okay, cool. That's what I want to know. Fortunate for me, yeah. I'm level four qualified in PT. If you know what that means, I'm a muscle specialist. Yeah. Okay, so, so you can lift your breast yeah. up. Hold on, Yasmin. I didn't speak. speak. I didn't no, 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 speak. No, no, I didn't speak. Ask him. Yasmin, you know this, right? The level thing, you know, the background or whatever, the, 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 the level four. Because Yasmin yeah, yeah, is in yeah, the chair. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. No, I'm just back. She just back it up. So if you want to ask, you can ask about me. Yasmin will tell you first time. All right, cool. My thing is this, innit? Yeah, the science and his nature. Now, yeah. Now it depends on what you know to do. Some people don't know what they're doing. Therefore, because they don't know in depth what they're doing, just because we all go gym, yeah. doesn't mean you know you're working the muscle correctly, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So at the end of the day, you can be doing squats, but you're doing squats wrongly because the person that's taught you has taught you completely wrong. Sure. To lift the chest muscle is a whole different ball game because we- Chest muscle and breast is different. It's, it's hold on, hold on, sagging breast breast is, listen, it's all tissue. It's all tissue. It's all tissue, you it's all tissue that, which is muscle. But yeah, hold can on, it's tissue. I'm telling you, the skin stretches. The Your skin does stretch, but the skin, the skin is stretched. A uh, baby sucks. The skin it. stretches it's while it also shrinks. It down to the ground. Hold on, if you've got, listen, there's, Did there's, you say bro, down to listen, the ground? there's home remedies. Yeah, so if it, it depends. Down, listen, it depends. Right. Just like you spent money on the body, yeah, going under the knife. If you spent probably just, have you? Can you actually amongst yourself saying you've resourced and rinsed out yes, every yes, yes. every aspect of natural elements to change your body and, can you and, say and, that and, and, with your chest and this is where this is where this is, hold on sorry quickly yeah. this is where i agree can you this, change? Is, this is where i agreed with you okay. like naturally yeah that's i'm i'm pro that yeah, yeah, stuff, yeah? yeah as someone that's into fitness um and general well-being i do believe that nowadays people prefer the shortcuts i myself before i've done anything or people around me that have done things i always try to emphasize that you have to exhaust every element most girls out there that are doing bbls not coming at you but you're you're following a culture you're not really expecting to get the results through a six months to a year regiment program so therefore you're following friends you're getting recommendations has it ever crossed your mind to think that even when you do your body you are still going to need the massage you're still going to need a very strict diet you're still going to need a um i would say a workout plan that ensures that your body stays intact without that you're going to be back to square one spending four racks again and this time you'll probably be traveling to i don't know peru my biggest thing is hang on i 
That's why I like really listening to people before I give my input, because he beating around the bush, bro. Like, look how you looking away, bro, like, because you didn't clarify your point to that extent. You you did a mean point about fitness, but you didn't address the whole breast and sag, and that was the mean, that was the mean situation, bro. All you had to say was, if, you, if your point was valid, all you had to say was what the specific exercise was, and why, and the science behind why the exercise would work, and even if other women did not know that exercise, you bring that to light, and you have your facts behind it. And you being a whole trainer or whatever, if you cannot specifically bring talk about that, and that's the that's the argument right there. Stop the cap, bro. You know when niggas beating around the bush, bro. Stop it, bro. Stop it, bro. So you gotta take that out on that game. Is that <laughs> body language is, bro? Body language is so important. Look at this nigga body language. This nigga just had the hand in his groin, smiling. <laughs> That we're living. Now everything's so fast paced. The reality is, no one's got time. No one's got time. You know what I'm saying? Now, if there's ever a situation where you could be like, okay, you know, I understand that is, if like you said, you've had your children, you've had your situation, and you know what, your body ain't set back normal. Do you get what I'm saying? To how you want it to be, and that insecurity has led you to have your surgery. Then you know what? It's not as I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I won't look at the mental implications as severely. Do you get what I'm saying? It is As a, somebody, it's a my, thing, my biggest thing is, and this is what I was getting at, is, is, is the message that is sent out. Because at the end of the day, is what, the life we live now is about visual represent, representation. Like, mm. it's what you see. You know, you have people that have gone under the nap and are fitness gurus and, you know, you know, poster girls. And it's like, okay, but you didn't earn that. You people are taking the piss on some rules. You're taking the absolute piss. It's visual representation. Like... You go under the knife, you portray this body that you sculpted in the gym, blood, sweat, and tears. But the only blood you spill is from the end of a scalpel. And you're letting these young, impressionable children, snowflake generation, believe your guess. Come on, man. Come off the time now. That pisses me off, I can't lie. Do you know what, yeah, for someone, for someone who, the, who looks on Instagram and then after having a baby felt super insecure about her body, as I still am still, and I'm seeing these girls Thanks, babes. Um, and I'm seeing these girls that um, have got BBLs, and then they're coming to fucking tell people like me that you went, you took that, what's they that? Went slim, 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 black tummy teeth. Tea. Do you know how much money I spent on black tummy teeth, tea, but I still haven't what got you're the now black doing tummy. Is you're coming into the world of what I'm talking about, natural causes. Now, if you think about it, yeah, you're going to get someone like, okay, they're not going to ask a fat person, no disrespect to anybody, hmm. to sell a six pack kit right mm -hmm. they're gonna get someone they're gonna get someone that already has that whether it's under knife or what so you're going to a different territory but her point still stands because no, why what? didn't they why didn't they get if that's the because case, it's a selling because it's a selling know, procedure i know i know, I know. but but, the, yeah. but you want to prove to be if, the, way, the reason it's contradictory is because you just said that there are natural remedies right Correct? yes of course they are right so there, there, there are there well, are well, hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on. Yeah, yeah, there are clearly people in the gym who have worked the natural way so then no, that's where it goes against it. Listen, to sell something, Claire. No, no, listen, no, no, wait, wait, wait. You know, let me finish my point. I know, I know let me finish the point. Let me tell you something, Kate. If we were advertising BBLs and we had a body like Nicki Minaj, we're saying that you can get that in one round. Social media does play a massive part in how people view themselves. Because before social media, I trust and believe I never thought about getting no liposuction after having a baby. I thought I'd be fine. But with seeing all these other mums after giving birth, they've d they're promoting Protein World, which I bought. They said that. Um, that skinny tea, I bought that, I still weren't skinny. You're not telling people that you've also gone to get surgery. So people like myself, who at the time would, were dumb and naive enough to believe that these products are gonna help me lose weight and help me have the same body as you, it's just a bunch of shit, in my opinion, because now you're just fucking the people's minds. Well, there's girls that have done BBL, that their body is absolutely shocking, shit, oh, dead. Yeah. dead. Are they gonna, are they've gone under the knife, right? Are they gonna use them same girls to go and pr promote their goods? That's not the point I'm trying to make. No, no, I'm just, I'm just asking. Can I, I get what you're saying, but that's it. not what she's saying yeah, at all. Not what I'm saying, but the point, let me, let me, let me, let me sort I get people do use it in terms of marketing, of course, yeah. we would never know that's what it is. Like, even, even hair no, sellers, no, hair sellers, they're using uh, closures from God knows what website, AliExpress, but that's what they gotta do to sell, yeah. you understand? What she's trying to say is, and I think it touches on the whole insecurity thing was, mm -hmm. if you're not that insecure of what you've done or what you've wanted to change, and I apologize for coming to you like that, by the way, but if you're not insecure, I'm not insecure, do you understand? I'm very open with what I've done and how I've done it. I've got YouTube, everything. I, I'm, 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 I'm a queen of this. I'm not ashamed. But what I'm trying to say is, if you're not insecure, you shouldn't be advertising 
false advertisement. You understand? If you're, that's, that's what I Don't do. tell me you went gym and you, you went to the doctor or whatever. I come on my page now because I am showing insecurity because if these people who know me behind closed doors know that I've done X, Y, and Z and I'm coming on my gram advertising something else, you can question, yeah, that girl's insecure. And that's a lot of girls on the gram, by the way. That's a lot of girls on the gram that are not being say, say, for example, you get an endorsement deal here from, say, Mon- Monet, Shark, what's up? You know, oh, you've been money. this thing right there, 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 there. Do you feel that you should rightly endorse that product? I, I, if money is money, babe, so that's that's a very that's no, a very that's big not big. what I'm saying. Okay, do you I, feel I, you I, should I, rightly endorse but that product? You, but I, the reason why you can't ask someone like me because I advertise gym straight after surgery, I put that face. So, so you know what? Then it applies. So then it, should, then no, it applies. It do you actually, it, 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 hold on, it actually, technically, that doesn't because Instagram has started um, uh, fixing this. Um, if, yeah. if everybody remembers Fire Festival, yeah. um, when there was a whole hullabaloo about um, models um, advertising something that, that they didn't know was real, mm-hmm. now. A lot of companies um, are using techniques to be able to come well, out. I'm not saying, remember what I'm no, saying is saying. I'm, real. I'm, I'm, I'm saying in terms of I'm gonna, false advertising. I'm gonna, I'm like, gonna, I'm you didn't, like, for, remember, Jim is fit. Let me, let me, add, let me, let me get. No, because I don't want you to. I know, I know okay, what you're okay, saying, okay, I'm okay, gonna cool. get to it. Yeah, so everyone, everyone remembers Fire Festival when um, models were advertising something they didn't actually know to be true, kind of thing. So now a lot of agencies are, and brands um, are using the ad word especially for social media posts. So even if what you lot are saying happens, where the person is advertising something that might not necessarily be 100% like how they got it. Like if you're, if you're advertising flat tummy tea and you got a BBL, if it says ad at the bottom, people <coughs> at least can make the judgment that you got paid to say this. But I think that's it's optional. Okay. I think it's optional. Uh, you don't have to. Okay. No, 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 you don't have to. You know what that is, yeah? It's, you know when you find a loophole around something? Yeah. That's literally what it's like a disclaimer. It's like the small print. But at least, okay. yeah, no, 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 at least, you know what? The, the, but, 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 the, but, 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 hold on, hold on. I, I, I really need her as somebody that has done it, or you guys as somebody that has done it, to answer the question because it gives a lot of clarity on the situation. If you have done BBL, you've done, you know, body sculpting or whatever the hell you want to call it, and you've been approached by fitness campaigners and fitness products and stuff to promote their brands. Now, fitness is something that a lot of people attach themselves to every year's you know what I'm saying January New Year's resolution do you know what I'm saying now if my kids are watching you or my siblings are watching you and you didn't go through that process but you're promoting a brand that's associated with that process do you naturally uh, you guys do you feel comfortable promoting that product I don't indulge or dive into fitness because I'm too real I kept it to 100 so I wouldn't ever if so, well, that's if, not if saying that, that if they're pushed if that's only to me I, I, to say, I would be like no nah, because I've always kept it 100 so, like, approach you. so if Reebok came and said you know what 50 racks, racks. Me, yeah. 50 racks. Now, I get what you're trying to say so what you're saying on a, on a money scale I'm going to say shit okay, on a money I'm scale. Gonna... I'm not going to lie though like uh, can't a conversation about a BBL going on for this long is that that's crazy. Like, was it ever that serious? And I guarantee you, bro, the niggas over here that, bro, because at the end of the day, we as niggas, we're niggas, bro. If your body look good, BBL or not, we're on that, bro. So this nigga could just be talking. These these niggas could just be talking. I guarantee you, they still see a guy with BBL. They moving crazy in real life, bro. So stop it, bro. I don't feel like it was ever that serious, game. Say okay, yeah. So then what I believe in and what yeah. is on my Instagram page and what I advertise, when pe- when customers click on my page, they're gonna see something completely different. So I wouldn't. But Yasmin, they're, they're gonna tie you into a deal. To be fair, to Yasmin, <laughs> get like money. So this fit is mad crazy. Oh my oh. god. If the price is right, you know what I mean. But with regards to selling dreams, you have to have a bit of principle about you. Come on. <clears throat> there are a lot of people out there who will say they don't market you know fitness products because they believe it's telling a lie but the fact is there are um they know the reason why they lie and sell use lot dreams and that's because they're probably signed up with one of these you know up and coming or well established brands and they're making money so what would it cost them or benefit them to tell you the truth that what they possess was not actually worked for it was just under the knife Hold on, they're going to tie you into a deal. So in the deal that they're going to tie you, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They're going to tie you into a deal. What Lucas is saying, listen, you can, you can say, oh, your moral ground isn't going to come into it, yeah? But then once the money is put there and done, look, 50 grand, Reebok, you're not allowed to tell people you've done certain things. You have to, hold on, you have to sell, you have to sell a certain prospect. Are you still going to, hold on, are you still going to tell... <laughs> Bro, he really moved like them barbershop niggas just nodding with niggas when they wouldn't disagree. Like, come on, yeah. Well, that, you know, you're part of this, Yasmin? 
Yeah, but you're not allowed to do that. Well, that's well, yes, do you know what? It's illegal. That's small. It's small. It's small. It is. No, but it's, no, that's illegal. Now, now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One second. One second. Hold on. Let's clarify something. It's a contract. Okay, but let's clarify something. It's a contract. Advertising. Advertising. It's not illegal. Hold on. It's not illegal. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There are certain lines in advertising that you can get sued for for um, false advertisement. And, and one of the blurred lines is you can't tell someone not to say that, that, that they're promoting. You can word it. I'm oh, not saying that you can word it. And we all do be. Let me learn. That's, that's what. Uh, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. And that's what Lucas said about, about loopholes, yeah? yeah? Now, what, what companies are doing to get around that in, in your terms How of. How many? I'm, I'm, lots of companies. What I'm trying to say is that it's not, it's not in favor of us, lot. it's in favor of them. Now, they're allowing you to say it is an ad. So that the people who are smart enough to read between the lines will know, ah, actually, do you know what? She might have gone and got surgery, but they oh, paid her to do this. Yeah. Yeah. But, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. But, but don't try to approach her the perfect, they will see her body is different. And then if she's been honest about it, they'll see she's not What if she's not honest about it? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. There's still people like that. Not honest about it. Hold on, hold on. What, what if she's not honest about it? People don't know she has All right, let me ask you something. Yeah, this is like to Yasmin, Esther, and Lani, have you got your titties done? Yeah. All right, cool, cool. I want to ask you a lot of something, yeah? Now, I don't think there's nothing wrong with a girl getting surgery. I think some girls are just naturally born dead things. Yes, 100%. Period, yeah. yeah. I think some girls are just naturally, you've got a body like an old Chinese man, you're just a dead thing. <laughs> I want to clarify, none of us here had a body like an yeah, old Chinese man. Yeah, that's, yeah. OK, no, 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 no. I had ugly breasts. No, no, I had ugly breasts. You know, and I was like, I was more like a bear man, a bear man. You said earlier, yeah, that you claim your surgery like you own it, yeah? That's fine. And you're not insecure about that. That's fine. What I want to know, yeah, from all of you lot, yeah, were you insecure before your surgery? Of course, that's you, 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 said, you said that you weren't insecure about getting the surgery. Were you insecure before that? Is that why you got it in the first place? The way Esther worded it earlier, I really, really liked. You basically said it wasn't that you was insecure, but you found something within yourself that you didn't like. So it wasn't like I was insecure about myself. That specific thing I didn't like, do you understand? I've always had a bum, so as I'm listening to... Sorry, Mark? That's an insecurity. I need to fully know the definition before I even say something. Uncertainty or anxiety about oneself, lack of confidence, lack of confidence. So it's like, the, I don't know, I don't know about her point, gang. I don't know about her point, gang. It's like, ah, uh, but it's like, they didn't say it's not <sighs> inadequacy, inadequacy. Not being good enough. Not being good enough. Uncertainty. I feel like when it comes to bodies and like BBLs and getting your breast done, like we all have to be realistic because I, when I took my class, what class? I took a media class. This is my first ever class in college. And the first thing that we had to learn about was um the male and the female gaze. And it is true to an extent, bro. Like, the way how we portray ourselves as soon as we step outside, like, it's to be viewed, bro. And it's like, we have to admit even vice versa, like, with guys and girls, like, we do things for the male and the female gaze, bro. When I go outside and I, it's like, it, it, it's like, bro, I don't feel that confident if I'm out outside with a haircut or my hairline not fresh. There's different degrees. But, yeah, I don't know if there's something I want to debate. Like, I want to just listen more. I don't even think this, this is something I want to go back and forth and other, other. Yeah. Anyway. yeah, but I'm asking, yeah, before surgery, I'm not, the question was, girls, I've got BBL done, I'm not insecure, I'm asking you guys, all of No, but was you, in, you was insecure before though, that's what I mean, yeah, that's why you got yeah, it. Yeah, before, before my BBL, I don't look like what I look like now, do you understand? If I was happy then, I wouldn't look, I wouldn't. So let me say, so you getting surgery, you feel like it's fixed, all well, the, is, the insecurities yeah. that you had? So when Gogo said something like that earlier, and I didn't want to chime in yet, because with me, yeah, okay, I have got a BBL, but anyone that's known me before, I did have But it's like, even as a woman, this is my question to you now. After you get a BBL and after you get your titties done, aren't you just on the furthest end of the spectrum all over again? Because it's like, okay, before if you wasn't happy with your body and you got your body done, now you're getting all the attention and you're getting these attention from men. But it's like, you're still wondering at the end of the day now, it's like, how can I even decipher who genuinely wants me or likes me? I feel like, so it's not all beauty and glamour and all that and all that, bro. So I be thinking about that too, bro. Big bum before, so it was very hard for me to answer that because technically I did the surgeries that I done was before. Um, I only did my BBL last year, basically. I wasn't one of the first girls to do BBLs. I was probably one of the last people to do BBLs. I had done like liposuction, my breast, all that other stuff. So what I'm trying to say is I already had my bottom half. Do you understand? I just got gas. 
That's the truth. So I can't speak. I want, can, I, I can, I, can, I, can I speak on something? You said that you're the only one that you probably did it last, right? Now, you said you've done it once. How many times have you... Like, I've, yeah, I've done six sets. Okay, cool. So that means it's a constant but, shuffle. No, 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 no. But that's no, we're talking about BPR. I didn't do six BPR. No, no, I'm, not, I'm just saying, in terms of... Okay, so you found yeah, the insecurity. Was, you know what it is? No, but, yeah, but can I say something? Esther also said another thing. But when she had a child, her body changed. So I'm not going to lie. I did some of these surgeries at a very early age, not knowing that our body was still developing. Straight up. I made a, I made a mistake. And I always put my hand up. I, anyone has seen my knee, I started doing my surgeries from like, you know, 21, 22. My body was still developing. Yeah. So by the time I hit 20, 23 or 24, ah, breast now has changed. You know, my breast yeah. was never part of uh, the plan. Yeah. I had big breasts, but then I went to the gym and guess yeah. what? I lost weight and my breast went. So that, that became another insecurity growing up. I then hit 25, 26. Okay, I've got my breast done. I felt like I was top heavy. Let me ask you something about man, yeah? Let me ask you something about man, because you said something about like wanting to be attractive, yeah? yeah? That was one of the situations, yeah? Let me, and th that's more what I was getting at when I was asking the question earlier, yeah? Because I like to think about like the psychology behind um, like decisions that people make. So. I feel like a lot of people I talk, up, talk to or have a conversation with about BBL or talk about like attractiveness mm. kind of thing in this. And I really wonder... What, attracting guys or them looking attractive? Them, attractive. Even them looking attractive. Even them looking attractive. Yeah, yeah. Both, but more so, more so. Yeah, the, more, not, not even why they're doing it, but more... Let me land. Yeah, yeah, let me land. Not, not so much, not so much they, they, what you look in the mirror and see because that's your version of how... Let me read your comment, Riri. The problem is sometimes, some people just want to look a certain way or feel better in clothes. It's not necessarily about attention, but to men, they feel, oh, if you change this or do this, it attracts them. And it's like, no, that's just something that comes to a certain upgrade, but it's not always the driving motivation. That's beautiful that you said that because I was literally about to say, maybe it's a difference between insecurity and just wanting male validation leading to attention. And I had to stop myself, and that's why I didn't say it because I'm like, no, bro, there's some girls. It Sometimes it doesn't even have to be attention from the male. It could also just be like, okay, you get in a room with other women, and it's still like... Some, I believe that it could still be a factor or overweighing, like, decision or reasoning over, like, how niggas view you or you just want to get it because of niggas. I think that's... Everybody got different reasons. We could generalize. Somebody said ego. What? Okay, let me try to continue to my point. Um, 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 do you mean confidence? Do you mean confidence? Is this the only topic? <laughs> I don't know, gang. I just feel like everybody can... When I, This is making me realize that like everybody can change... Like someone... It's easy for us men to look at it from the outside in and be like, Yeah, she just want attention. She don't really like herself. She just want attention. But when you're in a room and then you're listening to all these different perspectives, bro, everybody could get their body done for different reasons, bro. You just have to respect that, bro. Like, some people get it done for different reasons. I feel like through social media, all we feel like it is for is for attention because that's all we're seeing that it's being portrayed in that light. But that's not everybody's reason, bro. That's not everybody's reason, bro. Especially nowadays where fashion is a top trend and some people feel like their proportions are off with certain style they go for. They will try all means to fix that. How attractive you are, yeah? More so of what that does to attract the opposite sex. My thing is, do Can you, I answer? Do you find, yeah, mine is, I did my surgery for that reason. Let, yeah, let me, let, so let, let me ask. Oh, let, let me, me ask answer. For, for my like, do you, do you, like, do you think, what, what did you think was going to happen when you got it done? And what, what, um, what like results have you seen? Do you think it attracts uh, a better quality of man? Uh, uh, okay, like okay, what? cool. I just want to speak on my experience. No, but I'm, I want to ask okay, because cool. like, I want to talk on my experience. I've had yeah. two um, boob jobs. If I had my first boob job when I was 19 yeah. on the NHS, yeah. and um, wait, my tits were so fucking ugly. That's what I want to say. You got pictures. My tits were really, really, really ugly. So anyway, uh, I'm telling you, this is that barber shop nigga. You, you, like, like, like. Ugly. That's like, what I want to say. You got pictures. Niggas like this, bro. You cannot see nothing to this nigga. Oh my god, like, what the fuck? My bro? tits were really, really, really ugly. Today. So, anyway, um, the doctor said they'll do it on the NHS because they were really, really bad, yeah? And before you have surgery on the NHS, they give you counseling because they teach you that even though you are insecure about something on your outer, it might be your inner that you're also insecure about. So once you go under the knife, you might fix that. It might look better, but you might still be, you might still be insecure inside. The thing is, I was a virgin. I, I kept my virginity because I couldn't have sex because I didn't want to take my clothes off in front of boys. So I only lost my virginity after I had my boobs done because after I had my boobs done, I was confident to be naked. 
forget how you felt about it. Do, do, has that has that ha, has that attracted? What kind of man? Yeah, like has that attracted better men? Because I, I, I. But you see what he's saying? He's disregarding how she feel about it. At the end of the day, bro, it's your world, bro. You control your life. If that makes you feel better, that's what it is. We looking at like what type of men are you getting? How how are your relationships with men? But it's like king it's like but then again i see because it's like okay some niggas could be a some niggas probably w there's there could be a different demographic or different type of niggas that wouldn't have been attract attracted to her body type or her titties but it's like bro this is just i don't feel like it's for anyone to argue you do what you want with your body bro that's it the most i will say and the most i will input input is if some people get them bbls and they don't look good and best believe i will make a comment but if you dare try to violate me, the comment is going to be released because the BBL don't look good. It's not matching. It looks heavy. It looks like balloons and I will roast you. But if you're not coming to me with nothing, I have no reason to ever comment on your body, bro. I feel like that's what it is, bro. I don't feel like... Um... <laughs> like, bro, like... I don't, this is crazy. Like, this is like a 40-minute conversation, bro. That's not the question I asked her. I'm the question I'm asking. She didn't. She didn't answer the question I asked. I'm, I'm I don't saying, think it did. I don't think. I don't think it did. It was for me though. I hated my tits. You know, you just said something. You said you lost your virginity after you did your tits, yeah. So I don't know. I'm just gonna throw this at you girls, yeah. Everyone involved. Everyone involved, yeah. Now, I personally feel that girls do BBLs not for themselves, they do it for men to sexualize themselves. And what you just said proves that because at the end of the day, you said you wasn't comfortable to even have sex. Not that you didn't want to have sex, but. I know, but I'm saying, I'm just saying, based so on... So she wasn't happy to even enjoy something like that because no, of how that's she... That's fine, that's what I'm saying, but in order to... And at the end of the day, we don't even know... If, if you want to get that technical with her point of view, we don't even know if niggas saw her titties. It wasn't like she had some huge titties, some huge... Like, she could have had some titties that niggas... She could have had some areolas that was, that was might have been unappealing and niggas never seen that. So... You, it's very touchy, bro. It's very touchy to just be... It's it's too touchy, bro. Like, you... As a man, sometimes you cannot give no input, bro. Cannot give no input, bro. It's like talking to a wall. And I do start speaking. What's been going on? A lot been going on. I can't even... Basically, they arguing... Basically, they're arguing whether or not a BBL is insecurity or you want to do it for yourself. That's just generalizing, but... They just arguing about BBLs, bro. To improve the situation <laughs> on her personal parts it, 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 to it give her confidence. Part. We're not gonna pretend that it doesn't play a part. Okay, for example. No. But you see, I understand why you as a man can think like that too, because and you know where all of this stems from? All of this stems from, and this is the problem with niggas, and this is why, yeah, niggas, younger kids, I understand, because you know y'all just in high school and jokes, but as you become become an older adult. I genuinely feel like you need to have female friends because they will open your eyes to different perspectives. Like, no, OJ, I mean, it means I'm going to talk to you about this. They, people like Desi and Mendisa definitely open my eyes or else I would have probably had some... Pers I ain't going to lie, I had a perspective like this when I was in high school, bro. Of course I did. I would have been talking just like this nigga in high school. But it's like, gang, when you have female friends, bro, your perspective is going to change, bro, especially when you have intelligent female friends. So I feel like that's what it is too, bro. Each episode is a different topic. <laughs> Yo, I just want to see if they get to a conclusion though. You're not getting it. You're not getting it. You saw up. I'm saying we're agreeing with you. Yes, I feel like it has an influence. How can it not? How can it not? You understand? I was in a relationship. Anyone that says that was an influence. But what you say that girls go out of their way to do BBLs for men, that's a bold statement. No, and I'm sticking with that. And I'm going to tell you, anyone that's done it. You're trying to say they only do it for men. That's what you're saying. If man never existed, you don't want to do it. Let me finish because I just want to educate you guys a little bit. You can educate me, but I want to educate you, you don't need what to educate us not think. I've got a BBL, so I'm going to educate you because you don't have a BBL. I don't have it, but I also am a consumer. I, I listen. Imagine, I'm a consumer. So, what I want to ask you, Mark, the girlfriends that you've had, the missus that you've had, all of them, do they do BBL for you? Majority of them have. A majority, majority of them. Yeah. Okay. So, I've dated, listen, I've dated. I've, hold on, hold on. I've dated two girls. I've dated two girls. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to say names or whatever. I've dated two girls. When I got with them, they didn't have. BBL didn't have tits or nothing, didn't do boob jobs or whatever. But I guarantee you, because of how I was doing this and how I used to talk about how I liked my women. That's not a good thing though. So you made them insecure? So you made them, you made them insecure? He didn't, ha he didn't make them insecure. No, he didn't make them insecure. They were already insecure. No, 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 no. no. You, oh, you single-handedly made them insecure? It's at the end of the day, it's to improve yourself, but also to man. give a- I'm pleased the opposite sex. Thank you. No, no. 
No, 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 no. You, you single-handedly made them insecure. It's at the end of the day, it's to improve yourself, but also to give a. I'm pleased the opposite sex. I ain't got. No. What? Hold on. It's to improve yourself. What did she say? I'm pleased the opposite sex. Thank you. No, no. So <laughs> I can't keep stopping and giving comments, bro. I gotta, I gotta. Anyone that's got a BB on under the mic, can I just explain? Anyone that's been. No, don't hear. Listen, if you've been under the knife, say something. For example, yeah? See the transition I've been through? I'd broken up with my daughter's father. Yeah. I was a single girl. And yeah. I had an upside down body. <laughs> <laughs> I understand because I did my BBO when now, I left my now, dad Now the reality is I was fresh on the market so at the same time I want to look good, feel good. I did that, that was that's me. me. Yeah, so that's so, me. so, so that's you. Oh. Oh. Esther, 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 Esther. Man never played a part in any way, shape or form in you getting surgery. Can I ask Esther? Uh, answer that question. Answer the 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 you know, the pre-assessment, mm -hmm. the general anesthetic. Yeah. You remember the recovery, the far yeah. yeah. Going the toilet. Okay, the reason why I'm saying this, yeah, everything that you went from, I'm not even gonna go into detail. You know what you went Are you telling me that you did that? When you're doing it, was a man in your mind? No, no, at that point yes, in was in my mind. But um, okay. listen, hold on, hold on. You're talking about the process. You're not talking about the psychology. I see the end result. I'm not looking at the... <laughs> So, wait, 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 I just want to get this straight. I've spent 15,000 pounds of my hard-working money to look as good as I can look for a guy? Wait, wait, not a guy, for, for multiple guys? Oh, hell no, that's not how it works out here, darling. If I'm getting my body done and I'm spending my hard money, that's for me. If a guy wants to fund that stuff, then that's a different discussion, but no guy funded for my body. It, what, at the forefront of my mind wasn't man. The forefront of my mind was me, my, you know, confidence. I have no regrets. It's See, everybody have different perspectives, bro. And then we also have to... The last thing is the gays, though, because at the end of the day, this is real. But we live in a... It's like... This is a valid point, but it's just not that valid, because look at the world that we live in, bro. If there was no man in the world or vice versa, like, you just would not get it, bro. And that's the truth. There was no niggas around, no niggas in, uh, at all. Like, niggas did not exist to an extent. Not to say you wouldn't get it, but... It would be hefty on your decision. It would weigh in your decision. You can't speak for everybody, bro. And I just feel like when you personally attack somebody about their decisions, you just come off tweaked out. Because it's like, why are you so invested, bro? Why are you so invested, bro? But I ain't gonna lie. The comment that he was making talking about, like, I just, I couldn't, like, fully decipher what he was getting into. And that's why I just run it. I was running it back and then I was trying to hear her comment. But he was just like, oh, the girls them that he messed with, they got it after. And it's like, his input made them get it, but it's like that's so shy to me as well because it's like, bro, if I mess, if I mess, up, I don't mess with pretty girls, you know, they wasn't thick, but they was just pretty in the face. What type of nigga I look like to go talk to a girl and be like, oh nah, like you need you need to get your ass, like you need to get your ass fatter, like you should get a BBL and like that, bro. That thought couldn't even come to my head, bro. That thought couldn't even. It's like it's like oh, well, I'm trying to mold up. I'm I'm trying to mold up some gal, bro. That's shiesty, bro. It's one of the best things I've ever done for me. Do you understand? It gave me a confidence beyond belief. Like, ain't nobody that can tell me nothing. Nada. I'm trying to even chuck a curveball in there as well before this, but I want to get to this point because you are doing too much. <laughs> the truth of the matter is, whether you like it or not, the truth... I agree with that too. I still think if there was no men and women would still be getting surgeries because you would still compare yourself to other women and i feel like sometimes men don't factor in our own worlds that like we just feel like competition is amongst men for a woman but it's like they're still comp like we don't look into like women in your own world with 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 other women we never we never really it's like almost like we don't even care about that sometimes it's never we, we never look into that truth is on your on that journey yeah to getting your surgery man has played a part in it that's one thing, right? Now let me go to my curveball. Let's look at it like this: man and woman, yeah. You have the, 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 the luxury, or should I say, or the ability to go and go under the knife. Men that are born dead. No, like let's be real. Or men, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You have to put it into perspective. Men that are just butters. 
Niggas have to just live with that. Exactly. My hairline. My hairline. I could you could admit that too, cause a nigga could just get his dick. He could, you could just get a dick enlargement, bro. And you gotta know, there's a lot of niggas. No matter how ugly you are, no matter how ugly, oh, you could be dirt ugly. If you are fit, and you got large body and gal know, more gal gonna wanna fuck you. So you could debate that too, bro. Hair transplants are there as well. You could debate that too, bro. I live in it. What the fuck? Pat Bev, what's up? What's up, Pat Bev? <laughs> dick, enlarge dick enlargement only give like three inches. <laughs> Matter of fact, no, I'm not going on Google. Oh, I'm not typing that up. Mm -mm -mm. Let me get back to the video. Right here. <laughs> no, 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 no. tits, ass. Like, you can't go get. <laughs> let me talk, please. I, I want. <laughs> For example, I can't <laughs> go and get my, my piece chopped. You, you can now. You can now. Can you? A lot yeah, of men need to get that. A lot of men need to get that. For someone who said they were insecure about their body, you should not be saying that. <laughs> I want my tits. Yeah, I know. My, my point is, yeah. First of all, my body don't need an enlargement. I was about to see if that was true. My body don't need an enlargement. If my body needed an enlargement, I would have been exposed on Facebook already. So, and, I, and 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 if it was a guy commenting that, brother, I won't even speak to you. Leave me alone, please. Men don't have that option the way you guys do, even if it's accessible. <laughs> yeah, because of the way our society is, we don't. No, we don't. Because BBL wasn't accepting here back in the day. Did I say it's not your choice that you got BBL? <laughs> I don't understand. Did I say it's not your choice? What I'm saying to you is, yeah, we're talking about mindset. We're talking about insecurities. What I'm saying is, with men, and a lot of the time, yeah, our insecurities, the way we're born, the way shit is, we just have to deal with. Yeah. It's, it's still a massive stigma for men. My, 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 thing is, my thing is, if my mindset is like this and we have to live with it, like, why can't you do the same? Like that's just a question I'm putting to you. I'm not... I'm not I can't even answer that even just us because that's that's a, a big no, but you got, you you've done a BBO yeah? yeah you have a mindset you have insecurities the same way I have insecurities so what are your options then no I don't know what you're asking but I'm gonna try to answer anyway let me answer you when I was growing up when I was growing up I had a fat nose yo Lucas's nose is wench I didn't say I didn't say you know what because I can go and do a nose job I'm gonna go do a nose job. I, I learned, hold on, I learned to live with the fact, and I thought a lot of males learn to live with the fact that, bro. That's another perspective. I see what he's saying too, because it's like, even as a nigga, like, to change something or like, it's just not becoming accepted to get a hair transplant and something like that. But it's like, if niggas wanna improve something, get a DDL or whatever, whatever, wanna do this and get a nose job, like, in our, with our, within our own friend group, bro, like, it's a lot of shame that come with that, bro. But it's like, I feel like that's going to change over time too, like this. The way how we just get into society, bro, I feel like the next generation or like the next two generations down, niggas are going to be able to do whatever they want to do and it's not, niggas not going to really laugh at you for that. Um, but yeah, you will get violated in current time, even though you can't do it now. A lot of niggas just do shit and they keep it under the low. My deadness is part of what makes my buffness. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll rather walk around and say what? <laughs> but it's like, niggas not perfect, bro. Because at the end of the day, like, I'm saying this right now and I'm saying that, like, we will get to that point. But I'm not going to be the person pushing that point. Because if a nigga roast me, you got your nose done. You went under the needle. You got your, you got your legs done. You got height surgery. You see how I was roasting niggas that get a high surgery? <laughs> You're putting inches in you. So it's like, bro, like, I'm not no perfect nigga. Like, I'm going to still roast niggas. I just try to see every point, bro. I try to see everybody's point, bro. Two eyes. Fat nose pink. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I think that's ego and pride rather than. Hey, what? You look, you look, you look Lucas, Lucas, I wanna show you something. Lucas, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I don't care. <laughs> Lucas, let me, I'm gonna show you guys. If this was me, you understand? And I was working like this until three, four years ago, you understand? I'm showing you, Lucas. I'm only showing you because basically you're saying. You're saying you're 16. Make it closer. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is I'm 26. Like, I only done this recently. I, so all listen, my years, I was looking like this. So I held myself. I think so it's me at 16, yeah? If I was mentally <laughs> frail, if I was mentally frail, the point I'm making is, yeah, we all. No, I think no. Relax, man. I am relaxed. Relax. We all, as male and females, go through insecurities. What I'm saying to you is, fair enough, yeah. 
It's not the same. No, she's saying it's not the same. Fair enough. Let's go with her. Fair enough. Yeah, it's not the same. Cool. What I'm saying to you is, yeah. I, as a male, have grown within our society and collectively, it's, a, it's, it's almost like a grand, it's a, a, it's a broad thing where, you know what, brothers, you just have to live with it. And we've learned the other means as a, to going under the knife is maybe you need to get your peas up. Maybe you need to be a fashionista. You need to get your, your the, the, the way you appear up in terms of <laughs> grow a beard. Yeah, yeah grow a beard, me. your hair, whatever. But my thing is, why is it that with you guys, you uh, 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 make it, Okay, well, I've gone in the knife. Doesn't mean that I'm insecure. Like it's a big extreme, is what I'm saying. You want a man? A man can be clapped and still win in this world. A woman can't be. A woman can't be. That's fine. That's another point as well, King. That's a valid point, bro. Facts. If a woman's biased, then no one wants to talk to her. No, I'm so sorry. I'm so so sorry. Wait. Wait, because I haven't finished. Don't get me wrong. You can be a prime minister and all that stuff as a woman, but uh, but. If, if, a, if a prime minister is a oh my god, I'm if a prime minister is a man and he's butters, he gets told a little bit less than a woman. Women have a lot more pressure for, when it comes to looks. So I don't agree with you. For the people that saying cap, I'm not um saying all women. Okay, that's the same way I had those talks, and I'd be like, isn't it crazy how in general like we as niggas and the niggas, if niggas want to say cap in here, let's look at the time when I said we as niggas. Sometimes we don't even look into or consider the ugly woman in our lives to try to flirt with we only going off after the bad girl but the bad girl want things i had that conversation way before this so don't do that now gang don't flip this script now again if you want to do that i had that conversation before mad times bro don't do that bro a man can be butters we agree with that but here's what here's what here's what he's saying yeah that you, you kind of like like stumble yourself into a bit of a corner yeah what he's saying is as a man, you live with it and you find other things to work oh, with you to, yeah, to, to compensate. Hold on, hold on, hold on, let me finish. But what she's saying is like, oh, it's not the same for women because the beauty standards are important to women. But that means that, she, that what you're essentially saying is you place value more on the beauty. Rather, hold on, 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 hold on rather than going to work on other things such as your personality or, or your job or, or things like that. We, we can go under the knife. We can go under the knife. Why are men not choosing to do that generally? I'm not saying that it is the same for men and women. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is there is, because you are women, I think, and because we are men and we're, we're taught kind of differently, we are kind of like taught and brought up to, to compensate in other ways for things that we don't feel like we can go under the knife for. Even if it is available to us, we are, are kind of like taught and cultivated to find other ways. Uh, where I, I don't Essentially, you don't pick and choose when you want to pick where mental frailty with agree. regards to certain things in terms of oh, insecurities. Where, where don't That's bottom line. I think I think our, our views on, on um, surgery and BBL kind of comes from our surroundings because I know a lot of guys I went to uni with who are cool going to get a nose job, who are cool going to get their teeth done, and they don't see nothing wrong with that. So I think, I think, I think our perception on, on men not being able to get surgery to make things look better. It's based on our surroundings. Yeah, it's based on our surroundings because there are a lot of men who are comfortable well, doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I just, I just want to touch on, yeah, sorry, I want to touch on like insecurity because like I feel like Luke has made a really good point. I feel like insecurity is like glue in the sense that it will just stick to whatever you give it effort to stick to. Do you get what I mean? I was 10, 10 stone heavier than I am now. I had weight loss surgery to lose the weight. So obviously before I was really insecure, like people would say horrible things to me, like I just didn't feel good in myself, blah, 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 blah. I thought that losing weight or getting to this point now, my insecurities would vanish. Definitely not the case. I've just found other things to attach the insecurity. So it's, a, it's like a grow, growing disease. Mm -hmm. Like a cancer. Yeah. Like so basically I lost a lot of weight over the past year. I've lost like 10 stone, which is about 60 kg, 140 pounds around there. I'm literally like, I was, I was a big bitch basically. If she can do it, anybody can do it. I am a supporter. I will support her. I will cash up her. I will PayPal her. Lord have mercy. This is a beautiful sight to see. And it is so rare. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is beautiful. But I ain't gonna lie, she was still a baddie. Like I would talk her this version of, I would I would that I talked to her. So she was still a baddie, bro. But the way I've lost weight was I kinda not lost my shape, but booty ain't what it used to be. So yeah. I definitely feel like I would Nigga what? Bro, as much as, bro, 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 let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Because at the end of the day, you guys think you know me to that extent. Only the OGs know me. I like big girls. Y'all niggas know that. Niggas that know. First of all, are you forgetting I'm still Jamaican, bro? I'm still Jamaican. I like big girls. I didn't say I like 
some ogres, some, 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 some ogres, some ogres. You got that, King? Why do I have to always, why do I have to always bring up, why do I have to always bring up that one stream, bro? Stop the cat, bro. I would love to get a fluffy, the fluffy, if I can. fluffy. I um, you just have to make sure you're not going down a slippery slope, <laughs> which I feel like a lot of females end up doing. So, this is always in a different category. I probably would get one if I can afford it. So, you said that you're still insecure, yeah, but let me ask you this in terms of attention from like man, yeah, since you lost weight, have you gotten way more attention? Because let me say, let me say something about you, like with you, you showed me the before picture of yourself, yeah. Like personally, I think I like fat things in it. So before, me, me, me. before when I saw you before, I would have still be in it because I do like fat things. Yeah? <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to say, big man thing, yeah. <laughs> I'm all for the surgically enhanced bodies, bruv. The bigger the batty, the better, bruv. When I see a big batty, I just want to put my face in that, bruv. Big man thing. I, I don't know about that, bruv. Go with a flat batty. That's childish, bruv. That's immature. The only time a BBO's dead. Is when a girl's got skinny legs, bruv, and you're just built like an ant, bruv. That's dead. <laughs> Do you say that after you've lost weight, you've gotten more attention from men? There's more, so there's quantity, but I wouldn't say necessarily say there's quality. But hasn't that still fixed the insecurity you had where guys weren't approaching well, you? Not. Yeah, yeah, so, so the thing I that actually... Guys is, the thing, that was it everyone, though, cause... Yeah, both. So, the, so there were many things that made me insecure, but I think the thing that actually pushed me over the edge to, get, to make me get surgery in the first place was I was talking to a guy, <laughs> and he said... Um, he basically said to his best friend that I was almost perfect. It's like, oh, face, nice, personality, nice, but she's not slim thick. That was the, and it wasn't like he was the only one that said it. There was many people that said that before or dated guys that wanted to see me as like projects. Like, oh, babe, should we go gym? Should we do this? Should we do that? I'm like, why, why are we going gym all of a sudden? Like, I don't, I don't want to go gym. Like, what are you talking about? So I'm, I'm not going to lie, you are a buff girl. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> girl. So you will get that. Yeah, but body dysmorphia is one of the key factors that this happens. So my point basically was that the insecurity is a problem in itself and it's not going to be, it's not in your BBL and it's not in your weight loss and it's not in, it's in you, but it's in your mind. Because this is my boob job. After my boob job, I was calm. Wait, 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 wait. let me say this, question, yeah? If man never existed, yeah, where would you be right now? Uh, what? Sorry, is someone talking? What, what the fuck <laughs> does that mean? <laughs> Listen, if there was no man in the world yet, do you think us as women, we would think about, example, this. going to the gym, BBL, doing BBL? Because our attraction would just change. Our yeah. attraction would change to women. Three girls have done whatever, you haven't done it, but you're considering it. Me? No, no. Well, Are you considering? She's not done cosmetics. No, but you're considering doing some form of surgery, right? Too. Have you? Have I done surgery? Have you, are you thinking about it? Have I thought about it, but my thing is, at least I'm giving myself one year to lose weight and to fix myself in the gym. If it doesn't work, then I'm going you away. Gonna You're going to exhaust every form and means to the gym, naturally, to lose weight, diet, everything, diet, 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 everything. I'm going to train us. Should we end it like this, yeah? Look at how you see men go from before to after, yeah? With being big and they go to the gym, Gets his, his body for summer. You women can do the same, it's just dedication. No, it's the best There's a lot of emphasis placed on exterior beauty these days. So girls are looking to do whatever they can to maximize on that. So that's why I feel like this whole BBL trend is a, is a massive thing because lots of people are being drawn to looking better because society places great value upon them. I ain't gonna lie. He was, to me, he was talking the most sense. Yeah, like he was seeing other people's perspectives. Like he could keep, he could hold his side, but it's like, I think that he had the um. What could I see? What's the word to fit what I'm trying to see? I don't know, man.